Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a fun little haul and dig through for you today. Uh, first we have coffee. I bought a clear glass cup. They're a little small, but it's okay. Mm. Delicious. So uh, for those of you who don't know, my brother is disabled and so he kind of depends on me to do some things with him. I have a fan going, sorry, it's hot in here. So he asked me to take him to Coshocton today. And Coshocton is a town that I was born in. So there's two stores there that I love, an antique store and a fabric store. So I made some purchases and I will show you. Now this fabric, uh, it's Moda fabric, I believe. Uh, let's see, I think it's Moda. Yes, this is Moda fabric. And I couldn't decide, so I got a bit, a little bit. Um, it is $13 a yard. I picked up a half a yard of these Christmas trees in the green, the red, and the pink. I'm kind of loving the pink this year. Um, I have some projects in mind, just like project bags and little stuff, nothing major. So we have that one. And then as a matching with it, I grabbed this plaid on the diagonal. You can, you know, do it however you want, but this is how it comes off the bolt. I'm sure there's a fun name for it. I don't know what that name is. And this is all from the same, um, stock. It came from, what's it called? I'll have to find the name of the, um, collection. That's the word I'm looking for. Collection. Oh, and this one is a favorite with the vintage ornaments and then the pine and the Santas. I love it. Let me see if it tells me on this one. This is from Once Upon a Christmas. Uh, Sweet Fire Road design from Moda is what these came from. And I think they're all the same collection. If not, they all match really well. And I got a half yard. I don't need a full yard, but a quarter of a yard and an eighth of a yard, unless I get a fat quarter, it's not enough to make anything. And I think this is the same, nope, this is Cozy Christmas Trees. This is a different designer. Same trees though. These have gold. So this was a different collection. I love this quilt store. It's called the Mercantile, if you're in the Coshocton area in Ohio. And then right, I'm gonna skip you in here, right next door, there's an antique store and I love it. So you already saw one of my purchases. These are just some fun glass coffee drinks. I will tell you, um, it holds exactly 12 ounces. Who wants 12 ounces? Well, it's okay, because I got it to make Irish coffee. This is not Irish coffee, this is just regular. But these were 75 cents a piece and I was on the hunt for this glass cup because I like that you can see, hot. Then I picked up this. It is a, very specifically, a men's jewelry box. And I know that because it says up here, tie clips. Now, if you're on floss tube, um, you know that taking jewelry boxes and turning them into like notion boxes for retreats is a thing. And I saw, I saw this and I was just obsessed. I'm not sure why, oh, I think we're missing some, but I'm gonna remove this gray, which holds the rings and I'm going to, maybe, I may leave it there and put my stitch markers and my scissors down in there because it's kind of a fun shape and where it's at. And I may not have to do anything. And it closes up and it's dainty and it's small. And should I say demure? <laughs> um, to take on retreats. And I just put it on the table, pop it open, oops, slide sideways, and now I have my sewing kit. I need to get a small pin cushion or make one out of felt. This was $3. Then I got this necklace set. My cousin and I, my young cousin, she is 16, 17, she'll be 17 are gonna make some charm stuff. I'm into like the jewelry and the charms. I'm trying to unhook these because they were sold as a set, but they're not. She just sold them together. And this, while I'm working on this, this um, 
antique store is a antique like market. So different sellers go in and um, have booths. I need to get this off of here, but I loved this ch chain. It's like a bar and then a connector. And then every once in a while, there's some beads. It can be worn as one, but I think I would double it over and wear as a shorter necklace, or I can remove some of these links to make it the length that I want. So I grabbed that, I have to wash all this stuff. And I know it's hard to see, it's a fine chain. These are not real. And then this is like a snake chain, which is kind of fun. It may be actually too tight for my neck, but what I really wanted it for was this heart. And if you can see it, I know I'm too far away. This heart, I'm gonna move you forward here in a second. This heart is open and I can hang charms from it. So I'm gonna turn you down and face this table so I can show you this. I finally found one of these. It is a jewelry mystery container in a vintage mayonnaise jar. It's glass mayonnaise with a metal lid and it was $7.50. And I wanted it for some of the beads and the chains can make some charms. So hold on, I'm gonna turn you down here so you can see this jewel. Okay, I'm back. I have to remember, ooh, let me move you up just a tad. There we go. Okay, so here is the one necklace and it's bars and links. And it's very delicate, which I love. I've been really liking the gold. And then this is the snake chain. But what I really want is this open heart and I can hang um, charms from it. This, these two together were $5 for the two pieces, which I'm perfectly happy with. Now let's get into the, oh, I hit the table, hit into this. Oh, this is not a mayonnaise, it's marshmallow cream. I don't like it that she put the sticker on the top. I'll try to get that off, but. All right, let's open her up. And if you get bored, I, I understand. I need to move this just a little better. There we go. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start and just empty it out. Let's just do it. Okay, first and foremost, <laughs> we have a cornucopia pin. And some of this stuff will end up back being donated. This is a religious pendant of some sort, a saint. I'm not sure which one, I'll have to research that. But charms will definitely be keeping for now. Um, oh my gosh, hello 1980s. Some vintage earrings, not in a million years. I'm also not wearing anybody else's earrings. Aw, this is a cross and it says teacher on it, like in the apples. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not wearing other people's earrings, just so we're all aware. Um, this was kind of cool. It's a, it's a lapel pin and it says Ohio Lions District, 1981, District 13, Phoenix, 1981. So they must have had an Ohio, like an, a lot, a Lions get together and all the districts had their own pins made. But I thought that was super cute kind of retrofitty. It's got, it's a hefty little thing. It's got two things on the back. Uh, Del it was made in Delaware, Ohio, Presidential Series B. Kind of cool. If you're a Lions, um, that'll get kept. Okay. Oh, I thought these were fun. They do need to be clean, but they're just little pearl. These are actually clip-on earrings. Um, but I didn't know how I, if I would like the little pearls. So this is kind of the no, I don't need these, but the charm is kind of fun. Like if I took these off, that could be something fun to hang, like a pendant. I'm just not wearing earrings that don't belong to me. But these are fun, could be like charms. Ooh, what is this pin? I do like me a, a, a pin. This one says, God bless our troops. And it has the yellow a yellow ribbon and then this one here says u.s ski team lipton is a proud sponsor that is cool i'm gonna have to search that one up and see what year olympics that was um yeah that's fun some of this stuff is obviously broken i mean it's just what it is oh i'm gonna take that apart 
That's a fun charm. And I actually grabbed this one mostly because of these. This chain here to make charm dangles from. I can just unattach this, clean this chain up, and now we can hang little charms from these, this. This is why I picked this one out. And I just need to take it apart. Or we can just hang it like that and wear it. I need some ideas on how to clean costume jewelry because I'm not really sure. But that is definitely fun for my charm, my charm bracelet. Oh, here's another pin. I'm not sure. I'm not Catholic, so I'm not being blasphemous. I just don't know the saints and the angels and things. So I'm not sure. Um, I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. I mean, I think it's supposed to be a leaf of some sort, but it's definitely off center. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, here's another jewelry. This was interesting. Definitely handmade. I don't know what these, they're almost like a Tibetan, like jewelry finding, but I'm not quite sure what the point of this is. Ooh, I broke it. Okay, I'll just put it away. Oops. Oh, look at that. These are clip-on earrings, my friends, but look at the size of those beads. How fun is that? And I think this might be silver. It is tarnished. I do have silver cleaning cloths. So that is super fun. Here is a different uh, bunch of chain. Ooh, here's a charm. I do love a key. So we have a key charm with a heart. I'll take that apart and get it cleaned up. Here's another heart. And then this is fun as well. I love these vintage um, charms and I am not opposed to a mixed metal. I can tell you that right now. This has to be two different necklaces, I think. Yeah, I'm not opposed to mixing metals like gold and silver does not bother me. I will need to get this undone. Oh, here, look, look at that. This is just um, another piece of like dangle, but it has some purple like crystals on it. And then I know that was like from the eighties. It's missing a piece though. That is really kind of cool. I can clean that up and separate these two and get the charms taken apart. Cause that's what we're gonna do is dissect all this. Here is another chain with a fun charm. Uh, what does this say? Nothing. Just a purple stone. It needs to be cleaned up, obviously. And then it's on another snake chain, which we'll get these cleaned up. Oh, here's some more. Oh, is this a rosary? If it is, I know where it'll, I'll give it away to a friend who is Catholic. It's not. Okay. That scared me. I'm not trying to be anti anything here, kids. Okay. Oh, fun. This is like almost like fishing lures. It's just a big old bundle of loops with sequins on them. Very different. Very different. Kind of cool. Um, this was fun too. This is just a says we on it. We to we, but I liked the beads when I saw it in the jar and these can be fun to recycle. I'm just trying to upcycle here. <gasps> Ooh. Does anybody need these? I do not, but thank you. Thank y'all. I don't need earrings unless I'm taking them apart. Oh, this is a clip on, but it's plastic. I'm trying to see if there's anything funky in here. I love the mix of clip-on. I think that's Tinkerbell. I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm just putting the earrings in here for now. Um, fun. Just different earrings. They're, they're old. I might take these little silver pieces off of these. We're missing some on that earring. Oh, what's this? 
Oh, these are, these are heavy silver earrings. And maybe I know somebody who would like some earrings. Oh, these are children's little piece, little piece signs, but I can take those off. Um, I think this is more, oh, wait, we got two different things happening here. I think these are sort of gonna be like a dream catcher, but they're broken. So we won't worry about that. But these, I'm 100% taking these beads off of here. Somebody made this. This is wrapped wire. But look at these fun beads. I'm definitely making a charm out of those. So there's gonna be some surgery that needs to happen. I did see these through the jar. Um, this is another, just a neck, a silver necklace. It may be real silver though. It looks tarnished, so we'll see. Oh, it's got a kink in it. Okay, we'll put it over here for now. The I don't think so pile has become this. Um, that's broken. That's a fun charm, but this is just plastic. Sorry, I'm out of sight. Uh, what's happening here? Well, this is two different things again. These are so fun if you see one of these. I'm definitely going to clean up the silver um, little circles. See if I can do something with those. Um, that's an earring, but it's bent. Plastic. I don't know what that is. Oh, what is that? Uh, somebody's hair tie. Oh, that would be fun. I wonder if I can make that somehow into a charm or a dangle. It's currently an earring. I'll we'll put that over there. Oh, here's another one. I have a whole set of the peace signs. What is that? Broken. I'm not sure what... Oh, another earring. Here's the other earring that goes... This is... I don't know what this is. Pearls on a fishing lure is what it looks like. Yeah, and these are not like strung pearls. They're glued in here. It's pretty, but I don't think I need that. This, this my friends is gold. And not really gold, but how fun is this necklace? This just needs to be cleaned up. I would wear this 100% just like this. I know my grandmother used to wear stuff like this. Oh, oh my gosh. And if you want to make things shorter, all you have to do is take some needle pliers, unhook a spot, and put your connection back on. And now you have this soup. Oh, I wonder what this one is weird. Oh, wait. There's a couple of these weird... I say weird, but they just have extra little beads hanging, but I think it's a thing. Yeah, this is gonna get cleaned up and something fun is gonna happen out of that. Um, here are Christmas nativity scene. I'll keep the charm for our charm bracelets. Here's the other one of that, we'll keep that. These, this used to be, they you would put like a diamond or an earring through it. I can't remember what they are called, but you could turn one earring into style, multiple styles. Um, but I, I just, I think it's, I can't wear other people's earrings. L uh, links to somebody's bracelet, just earrings. Oh, here's a green bead, we'll keep that. Um, I'm not sure what that charm is. It's got like a flower or something on the inside. At first I thought it maybe was a compass, but that's not the case. Um, we'll take this one off as well. It's just a charm. Oh, that's the crash. These are just little earrings. We're not gonna worry about. Um, I can keep that and maybe we'll use it for something. It is hanging like a charm. This is a fake or a fake earring, a clip-on, if you've never seen. You know, we can keep that angel wing and use that for a charm. It's pretty. This as well. Oh yeah, this is cool. Look at that. 
and it can just hang right on a necklace. I love that. Um, that's giant. This I think was handmade. It's cute though. I don't know what, what type of stone that is. And then these are just different shapes and it's on elastic. But that is fun. I could wear that. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is just some pieces of brokenness. Earrings. Um, I Maybe if I can clean these spheres up, those could be fun. We have to see if I can get them clean first. Uh, earring. Oh, teaching. A vintage teaching pin. Whoever belong this belonged to must have been a teacher. Some beads, just some vintage beads. Uh, earring, earring, and then this is just a black, I don't know what this is, some type of, it's a black chain, black corded chain, like almost like a, um, I don't know. And it has a class, like the ball, well, sorry, a ball chain. I'm sure it went to something. It seems broken. That's everything. That's everything I got in this jewelry. I hope you enjoyed going through it with me. That was a lot of fun. I need to figure out how to get all this cleaned up and taken apart. Maybe just some warm wa soapy water and let it dr air dry and then I can take everything apart and use what I want and donate back what I don't. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy. I will talk with you later. Bye.